What's going on everybody? Bright Skater, back again. Um, we've got a uh, load of stand-up coils today. As you can see on the deck, we've got four stand-up coils, um, ranging anywhere from 10,000 pounds, 10,200 pounds to 10,800 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna explain the logistics of uh, what we're actually gonna be doing today as far as securement goes. And, pretty fun today, we actually get to use our brand new tarps. Look here we got four coils okay and we're gonna count first of all find out what kind of length we have on deck here okay so you, when you talk about securement you talk about length and you talk about by weight so each one of these snake pockets two foot apart so you got two four six eight ten twelve roughly 14 feet of product on deck so what we're gonna do is guys um, each one of these coils each one of our straps is 5400 pound working load limit okay as you can see right there 5400 pounds what this means is that these coils, when they weigh 10,800 pounds, when you start talking about securement by weight, all you have to secure is half of that weight. So this is like 10,200, 10,400. Okay, t I think this one's 10,800, 860. This one was like 10,500 something. So on the front, on the front, in the back, we're gonna put, gonna put two X straps on the front, two X straps on the back. When you're talking about your front pull, you wanna throw from the front of the trailer back, okay? And then when you talk about the back coil, you want to throw from the back of the trailer forward. What you're trying to do is keep those coils hugged together, okay? Then we'll, we'll throw one center strap over the front and the rear coil, and then one center strap over each coil in the center. So we're covering half of our half of our weight in the middle coils, and we actually have uh, over 15,000 pounds of securement at the front and the back. Then we're gonna actually put a trip chain here in the front, so if we have to hard break for some reason, that trip chain is going to stop these pallets from sliding forward any farther than what that chain is going to allow. So after that, we're going to get set up for our tarp and we're going to get to it guys. So stay tuned. All right guys, we're putting the trip chain on now. We've got edge protectors, packet blankets. Everything is nice and tight, secured, edge protected. So. Rule of thumb on edge protection is if your gear can damage the material or your material can damage the gear, that's when you want to use edge protection. So we've got the, our coils are protected. Uh, our tarp is going to be protected from the coils with the packing blankets and our straps are protected from the coils with the edge protectors. So, and you can see we're going to need one tarp. We've got it up there. We're putting the trip chain on now, which our binder will end up being on the passenger side. So, and that chain is gonna keep those coils from sliding forward. God forbid we gotta brake hard. Our trip chain is installed. Josh got it all binded up. So you got your binder here. Remember guys, this is not a securement device you're using. This is just a safety restraint, okay? So you don't have to go crazy honkering down on this thing. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy tight. You want it to be good and snug to where it's not gonna vibrate and see it, how it's gonna dig into the pallet a little bit. All right, you're good to go. Keep a check on this, guys. Same thing when you check your straps. You wanna reach up under your tarp, feel this thing, make sure it's not loose. If it's loose, you need to lift your tarp up right here and reset this. All right, everybody. You can check it out right here. This is the first coil towards the front of the truck. Three straps, got an X strap, one in the center. You can see the next two. They've got single straps over them. That 5,400 pounds is, is over half the working load limit for the weight of the coil. Obviously packing blankets, edge protection, all the goodies. And we got our back coil here. So this is what we're looking at. And you might say, well, why didn't you put a trip chain on the back? All right, you can do that. You can put a trip chain on the back if you like. 
The thing about it is, is my thought process is, is if we have to brake hard, I want these coils staying as far back as possible, not going into the cab to come hang out with me. So that's why we are we didn't put a drip chain on the back. The, the velocity of, of your truck stopping is way greater than your truck taking off. You know, these, these aren't race trucks. So when you have to stop quick, that coil is gonna go that way. It's not gonna come back. Even going up a hill, there's 15,000 pounds of securement on a 10,000 pound coil. This is not going anywhere. That's more, more than what's required by DOT. So we're good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay our tarps, get bungeed up, and we'll show you what this new tarp looks like uh, spread out over these coils. So here she is. I uh, got the new, new tarps, new airbag tarps out. I did go with eight foot drops. I'm sick of messing with six foot extensions. I really hate it. <laughs> it is a nightmare. I would rather mess with a lightweight eight foot drop tarp any day of the week versus a six foot extension any day of the week. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to pull our flaps back like a tail. Okay, we're gonna pin our four corners down. Then we're gonna take a look at it and see where we can start tucking, tucking and running this fabric. All right guys, this is the finished product here. Um, and you guys gotta remember, this is a 28 foot long, eight foot drop parachute airbag tarp, okay? So this is a huge custom tarp. Um, and some people are gonna be, you know, asking me, why did you get such a big tarp? I carry two four foots, two six foots, two eight foots. Listen, man, it's just like everything else in this video. You know, any of my videos, there's a million different ways to fly a bed. There's a million different ways to truck. This is my way, 260 pound, eight foot drop, 28 foot long tarps with eight foot flaps. I like it. Now, in, in the review of the tarps, looks good. It's gonna get really, really, I'm gonna have to really get used to this because there's a lot of wrinkles here. I mean, this stuff is so floppy. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, some parts, they start getting straightened out. Um, I'm finding, I'm having to double bungee. So where we, we brought one from here to here and we took and brought another one back the same way to here, crossed them just to actually get these excess pockets done. Um, and what we did here at the back, we, we struck our, we drew our tail out, tightened it down. So it's a nice clean, the air will flow right off the tarp there, come right off the tail. You don't have to worry about it. The tail's nice and straight. Um, overall, I like it. It looks good, it's really light. Um, it's like, it's like mind over matter for me though, man. Th these things are so light. Like I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, it's just like only a matter of time, like something's gonna tear these, you know? And you can't just fix these tarps. You have to have them sewn and sealed back up where you got them made up at. So um, the only real thing that I have to say about these tarps um, is where we got them manufactured from. I was Braylon Manufacturing. They're really, they're a great crew over there. Don't get me wrong. Really nice people. I'm gonna put a link for them down in the description below. Super great hometown feel kind of business um and this you know they're they're, they're old school tarp makers so um i feel like we could have put these d-rings a little closer to each other and i feel like we could have put the d-ring rows a little closer to each other because each one of these tarps weighs 60 to 65 pounds from what i'm told i haven't actually had them on a scale yet like a produce scale or a pallet scale but uh anyways guys that's it man that's the, our stand-up coil load. You guys saw how we strapped it. We put our packing blankets on, edge protection. Saw the trip chain. You saw how we tarped. Um, this is what they call a, an aero tarp. So like we talked about the air coming down off the back, same thing on the front here. When you come up here to the front and look. We have the other custom sitting here and it's got, it's got the packing blankets on it. Cause I am, I am so freaking worried about this stuff getting torn. So I put a packing blanket on with a strap. But having that tarp right there in the center of the load is gonna keep that air from pushing up under the load while you're driving. So that air is gonna essentially come off the top of the truck, hit the deck, sweep up over the load, boom. That's why it's called an aero tarp. It's aerodynamically efficient. Guys, that's it right there. Um, thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, we're over 2,000 subs. You guys are amazing. There's a lot of information out here. I'm constantly going to keep bringing it to you. 
Um, this with stand-up coils, okay, with airbag tarps. So we've got our trip chain in there, we've got our airbag tarps in there, we've got our stand-up coil securement method. So guys, once again, thanks for watching your first time at the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification icons for all your notifications. Uh, like and share the channel, guys. I'm Rich Payne from Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Um, he, he went and interviewed Dude Brent, brought him some uh, some uh, barbecue at a truck stop. And I really like Dude Brent, and I'm Dude, Dude Brent, I'm giving you props on this. He says, love it or hate it, just, just rate it. So, guys, it doesn't matter you know, if you like it or hate it. I'm cool with that. Um, just, just leave your feedback, guys. Leave your comments and questions or anything down in the, in the comments below. Check out all the links, guys. Stay safe. God bless. Pray Skater out. Big shout out to Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia guys. Um, this guy's got a lot of aspirations. He's meeting with a lot of prime drivers guys and uh, Rich is, is a super awesome guy. He's got a huge heart and uh, he's got the aspiration to come out here on this road with us and do what we're doing every single day guys. So give Rich some love, go see his channel. There's gonna be a link down below. Um, Rich, the shout outs for you brother, much love. Can't wait to see you out here on the asphalt man. I can't wait to taste that barbecue, brother. I'm, I'm looking forward to it.